Volcanic activity is a process of magma being ejected to the surface of the Earth out of its crust. Volcanoes do not occur at random. They form long chains which are essentially the boundaries of tectonic plates. Volcanic activity has an important role in mountain formation. Magma is red-hot molten rock beneath the Earth's surface. Magma that flows to the surface is called lava, and a volcano is formed where it reaches the surface. Volcanoes can be differentiated according to types of eruption, which are explosive, effusive, and mixed. Explosive eruptions are characteristic of cinder cone volcanoes. This type of eruption is accompanied by steam and gases that escape to the surface through the crater with massive explosions, and it results in a tall eruption column and pyroclastic flow. Wind can spread the ash cloud over a large area. The pyroclastic flow rolls down the volcanic cone at a high speed. It is the most devastating type of volcanic eruption. Krakatoa, Mount Pele, and Mount St. Helens are the best known examples of volcanoes where this type of eruption occurs. Effusive eruptions are characteristic of shield volcanoes. This type of eruption is not accompanied by explosions or a pyroclastic flow. The only substance that rises to the surface is liquid lava. Once the lava solidifies, it creates a volcanic cone. Examples of volcanoes where effusive eruptions occur are Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa, both on the Hawaiian Islands. Mixed eruptions are characteristic of stratovolcanoes. This type of eruption is accompanied by explosions and lava flows as well. The volcanic cone consists of alternating layers of tephra, or fragments, and solidified lava. The best known examples of stratovolcanoes are Stromboli, Mount Etna, and Cotopaxi. After volcanic eruptions, post-volcanic activity can also be observed, which essentially consists of steam and gases made up of various chemicals emitted from vents called fumaroles. A sulfatara is a type of fumarole. It is an opening in the Earth's crust that emits sulfurous gases. A mofeta is a discharge of carbon dioxide. A mofeta can be called dry if it contains carbon dioxide or wet if it contains carbonated water. A geyser is a spring that periodically discharges hot water. This happens because water seeps into and accumulates in small hollows beneath the ground and then starts to boil due to the heat of the magma and eventually erupts. Volcanic activity in clay areas are accompanied by mud volcanoes, where gases are released by liquid mud as bubbles. The most devastating volcanic eruptions scatter large amounts of tephra. During the 1883 eruption of Krakatoa, 18 cubic kilometers of tephra were dispersed, while during the 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora, which was one of the most powerful eruptions in history, a total of 80 cubic kilometers of these fragments were spread over a large area. Such powerful eruptions have global impacts on the Earth's atmosphere, climate. During volcanic activity, first vapors and gases erupt, then rock fragments. The size of the fragments ranges from a few millimeters to several meters. In the next phase, lava erupts, and in a while it solidifies on the surface. In the vicinity of the crater, the solid material collapses, forming a cauldron-shaped depression. This depression makes it possible for the volcano to erupt again in the same location. One feature of stratovolcanoes is that eruptions occur periodically. That is, a layer of rock fragments and ash is followed by a layer of lava, which is covered by another layer of rock fragments and lava during the next eruption. This process is repeated several times. The resulting volcanoes can be several thousand meters high. They are typically symmetrical in shape, with the diameter of the crater reaching several hundred meters. The Three Sisters are closely spaced volcanic peaks in the U.S. state of Oregon. They are part of the Cascade Volcanic Arc, 
a segment of the Cascade Range in western North America extending from southern British Columbia through Washington and Oregon to northern California. Each more than 10,000 feet in elevation, they are the third, fourth and fifth highest peaks in Oregon. The ecology of the three sisters reflect their location in central Oregon's Cascade Range. The west side slopes from 3,000 to 6,500 feet lie in the western Cascade Mountain Highlands ecoregion, where precipitation is abundant. Forests here consist predominantly of the glacifier and western hemlock, with minor components of mountain hemlock, noble FIR, subalpine FIR, grand FIR, Pacific silver FIR, red alder, and Pacific U. Wine maples, rhododendron, Oregon.